Hello YouTube, it's Mark King here and we have a story from the Washington Times. Um, the author the author of this of this uh, news piece is uh, L. Brent Basil III and the title of the article is How the Liberal Media Weaponizes Pandemic Against Trump. Um, it's a well written article, it touches upon many things, a lot of talking points. Something you always have to look for with the media when they push the exact same talking points. Those are hints that they're getting it from somewhere else, somebody else. Could be China, could be whoever, whatever entity that they take their marching orders from. It's it's exactly what it seems like. So you gotta pay attention to language. So So this article goes on to how these insane, these absolute insane liberals and all these publishing companies they're trying to deflect um, blame where it's not. Um, it, it, they always thought this pandemic was coming. You know, it was it was people on the right, you know, Fox News, who was um, who was against this, who didn't know um, it was coming, who lied to the public. This is exactly what they're trying to say. So let's just read. So the New York Times media critic Ben Smith has even suggested that America could have averted the the virus crisis altogether during the crucial two weeks in late February and March when Fox News hosts and guests speaking to Fox predominantly elder audience uh, you see again they, they, they try to disparage I mean it's like why do you try to disparage people for this is this is the, the bothersome part of liberalism anyway repeatedly played down the threat of what would become a, become a deadly pandemic so as you, uh, this this uh, author uh, Basel, he's just he's just some um, basic chronologically talking about the lies that are being spread currently. Again, they're going to try to do, uh, again, it's they're going to try to deflect from the truth and pass responsibility. It's it's either a, a feminist society, or it's a um, it's a, which which is a part of communism, right? It's a tool of communism, or it could just be simple communism where. You blame others, you know. It's it's again. You see this in sports. Again, sports. I used to love sports. Uh, what happened in sports? Like everything became easy, so they take away the ability to play defense. And society is kind of like sports, where it's like people don't want things hard anymore. You know, playing defense is hard, so you, uh, you have to get rid of it. You know, just where society's heading. And the problem is, it doesn't make people tough. And people, when hard times come, they don't know what to do. Most likely, they run to the government, which probably is the the reason for it, anyway. In Mr. Smith's cherry picking of Fox News transcripts, he ignored altogether a larger point. The host and guest made the hoax they complained was a partisan media onslaught against the president handling of the crisis, not the crisis itself. Far from downplaying the pandemic, one of those popular hosts on the network, he is the most popular news source probably in the world, by the way. Tucker Carlson was among the earliest media figures who called the who call attention to the crisis. As Mr. Smith acknowledges himself, Mr. Carlson's news program and commentary of, on the pandemic, like those scores of other Fox News channel shows, has been serious, insightful, and balanced. Mr. Fa Mr. Smith failed to mention that another of the targets, Sean Hannity, had been among the first of, on any network to use the program to host a discussion on the t pandemic with Dr. Anthony F Fossey, Fucci, Fossey, you know, people pronounce it different ways, the director of the National Institute of uh, Legit in in and Infectious Diseases. All right, so let's see what it said. Make no mistake, the complaints about media politicizing the crisis are accurate and well-deserved. Okay, readers of the Washington Post, for example, have been told that the deadly virus is Trump Chernobyl. Okay, and viewers of CNN at large, Chris Kaliza, learned that it is Donald Trump's uh, Katrina. So you see where it's headed here. They're, they're trying to tie it into, well, you see, they're, they're trying to tie it into some crisis. So the similar language, similar words, be careful where this is going. Okay, so in the story that diagnosed the president as pathological, Slate offered a different but equally snarky take this is this isn't Trump K Katrina Slate said it's stupid slow motion 9-11 so you see the narrative that's being shifted here 
so they're trying to make it into some um, some absolute disaster um, <clears throat> the thing is that they use a lot of um, natural disasters that's what's interesting this one called it 9-11 they didn't actually say where it was like it's, it's supposed to be a, a terrorist attack but they're watching the words here okay so meanwhile the New York Times the Gail Collins contributed to the to fighting the pandemic has been to suggest a new sub new subric uh, I can pronounce that no idea what that word is um, virus she suggested should be named the Trump virus alright so what it looks like the way they're trying to do is attach blame to Trump like the attach I think they used to attach Katrina to Bush I'm not a fan of Bush but that's just absolutely ridiculous you know attaching a, a, a basically um, a natural disaster unbelievable and they're trying to attach the Chinese virus to Trump which is insane and he tried to react in January and he had pushed back with the words racism, um, and, you know the story. The story goes like uh, what really happened was uh, Tucker Carlson really um, got g- got on the plane and actually talked to Trump. But this is just a rumor. But he has to take this seriously. You know whatever's going on, they're not telling you the truth. You know it's, it's very dangerous when you have people around you who, are, who that I don't even know think they're yes men. I think they're just guys who are part of the deep state that he's surrounded with. Unfortunately, he has to clean house. He has to clean house a little better. You know. But anyway, um, that's essentially the story. You know, it's it's um, they they're trying to deflect blame, and you see how they're trying to um, talk talk in similar language. So they're trying to attribute a um, a natural disaster to um, to to this to this Chinese virus. It's, it's, it came from China. It's I mean it's terrible. You know, it's it has to have repercussions for China. You know. All right. Um, anyway, be careful of the media. You know, everybody knows this, especially the liberal media. They're trying to reframe things again. When you try to reframe things, it, let me try to reframe. They try to lie. It's like accuse your opponents of what you do. That's one of the the keys to Marxism, right? So you're accusing. I think it's Solinsky also. Be careful. Okay. This is this is dangerous talk. You know. Alright guys, hope you like, share, save, subscribe, whatever, you know the story, hit that thumbs up, bye.